Good evening and a very warm welcome once again to everyone that has joined us this session this evening. Hope you are being blessed and have been blessed through uh, a powerful praise and worship session that we've had earlier. A mighty anointing was there, or like blanketing over the entire session um, earlier. And I'm sure the Lord has done wonders in your life during this entire week as well. We'd like you to give him glory, share your stories, inspire others, stir their faith as well. And let, let the name of the Lord be praised. So let's share our testimonies today boldly. Do not be afraid and do not wonder about who else is watching here and what they're thinking. It is you giving glory to Jesus. You are not uh, looking at anyone else. Uh, do, not, do not think twice about it. Just go ahead and share your story. Who would like to go first in giving their glory to God? Russell, Shanine here, I'd just like to praise and thank the Lord for every grace and blessing this week and for the powerful teachings of a morning, the powerful reflections by Brother Savio. Amen. And I'd like to thank him um, for my son's second-hand car that he got this week and praise and thank you, Lord, that it's all in good working order and for the grace and the blessing of um, the celebration of life of Daphne's mother-in-law and that family, Lord, praise and thank you for the blessing upon that family lord and we thank you lord for the faith that we have that we have eternal life in you i thank you lord for this prayer group and just just for renewing the word of god in my life you know it's certainly this prayer group has certainly strengthened me in what i'm learning russell just through the word yes. of god and through that yes. i'm able to share with others to lift to lift people up to even Catholics who, who don't really know the word of God, some of them, just to know the power in the word of God. So we give all glory to God just for just for that and for the, the very breath we have and for the food we eat, the, the roof over our head, because there's lots of people struggling around the world at the moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, brother. I would like to praise and thank the Lord for the gift of life, for all the blessings we have received and the miracles that happened in the last week. Um, I, uh, I had gone to the passport office for my uh, passport, uh, renewing of my passport. And uh, as usual, I carried whatever documents, but it was not so sufficient. Uh, I just panicked about it at the first, but then she told me, can you do this? Can you do that? And then you come back. And I just went out. We went to the cyber cafe. We got all, more documents and I came in and I just kept blessing everybody out there um, that everything should be good for them and for everyone who was present over there. And my turn came in soon and everything went so well. I praise and thank the Lord that I had to come back home and again go. I would also like to praise and thank the Lord for my mom um, who I took her yesterday to the hospital. It, it wasn't raining so heavily at, when I left, but when I came back, our complex was fully flooded and the rickshaw fellow refused to come. Ubers were not available. When we reached the gate, the rickshaw fellow, as usual, said, nahi jayega, nahi jayega. I said, Aapka rickshaw mein kuch nahi hoga, kuch nahi hoga. I just convinced him that nothing is going to happen to your rickshaw. And you're going to be fine. Everything is going to be said, only take my mummy till in. I said, I can get down. But my mom cannot walk through this water. She has already walked once through this water and she had fallen very sick. So he agreed and he bought us. And mom had to walk through little water at the building because it was ankle level when uh, at my building top also but I praise and thank the Lord and mom managed well we came up with her and even the doctor has said that she's doing very well and I can uh, remove some restrictions and you know that is what I wanted because she was a little bit cranky about her food and was unwilling to eat but I know this group is continuously praying continuously praying for each other so I thank you all of you God bless all of you praise the Lord thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Brother Russell, yes, this is ahead. Lucy. Brother Russell, this is Lucy here. 
last week before coming to Canada, we both husband and wife had a viral fever and we thought our ticket would be cancelled. We were not able to land at the Bombay airport. But luckily everything went fine. My God's blessing. And also next day, Bombay was flooded. Everything was closed on 19th. But I thank and praise the Lord for bringing me to Canada very safely. And also I thank and praise the Lord. Past one week I'm staying in Canada. The weather is so beautiful and climate also very good. I adjusted to this climate. I thank and praise the Lord for it. Also, I applied for a U.S. visa for my, I want to visit my cousin and my son in the U.S. The letter has come. I hope I get the, uh, my ticket, uh, visa date next month in August. Hope so. God create miracle in this also. I thank and praise the Lord for working wonders in our life. And for I joining this prayer group, I have got a lot of strength and confidence in Jesus. That's Amen. what I thank and praise the Lord for everything what he's doing in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, who else would like to share their testimony? Anyone like to share what the Lord is doing in their spiritual journey, in their spiritual life, how he has impacted them there? Oh, praise our Lord Jesus, brother. Yes, go ahead, sister. Thank you. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for your anointing over our group and all the powerful teachings and the testimonies. Thank you so much, Jesus. And I have a sharing and a short testimony, brother. And um, yes, go ahead. this week I was listening to a recording of a teaching on YouTube on my device. And while listening, I searched the recording of a past of pastor masses and found one that I wanted to listen to later on. And I tried to save it, but somehow the recording also began playing simultaneously from the same device. And I also became aware that the news channel was on in the background. And at that moment, someone came to ask a question. And just then I heard in my spirit, whom can you hear? And I realized that due to the busyness of life, I'd cut down on the time spent reading my Bible and knew then that it was actually the most important time of my day, as everything else stems from the word of God, which is alive and active, sharper than a double-edged sword, as Hebrews 4.12 says. So I want to say thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for teaching me. Thank you, Jesus, for this re revelation. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And, um, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And the testimony is about a person who was looking for an affordable room to rent as the lease would be up in about three months and there was only one month left to find something suitable. So I sent Isaiah 45, 2 and 3, which in the New Jerusalem says, I'll just read it, I myself shall go before you. I shall level the heights. I shall shatter the bronze gateways. I shall smash the iron bars. I shall give you secret treasures and hidden boards, hoards of wealth so that you will know that I am Yahweh who will call you by your name, the God of Israel. And my revelation is that um, because Jesus Christ came to save us, to redeem us, the I shall has already been fulfilled. So Almighty God has fulfilled this promise from Isaiah. 45, 2 and 3, and I explained to the person um, to always thank the Lord that the perfect place has already been found, and praise the Lord, thank you Jesus, this week they found the most perfect accommodation close to work and sharing the amenities with only one other person, so thank you so much Holy Spirit 
Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, brother. God bless you in the ministry. God bless everyone. Thank you, sister. Praise Thank God. You. Praise God. Yeah, brother, I'll go next. Yes, yes, please. Go ahead, brother. I, I would like to thank and praise God for keeping me alive today to attend this beautiful prayer meeting. I know it's not by chance, but it's by choice. God has chosen <clears throat> me to attend this prayer meeting and be alive to attend it. Yes. And that's the grace and glory that he has bestowed upon me. And this is favor that overtakes and chases all of us as we believe in his word. I totally resonate with the sister who gave a testimony just now that the word of God is alive and active. It is only the word that keeps us alive in the spirit. We may be physically alive, but if you're not alive in the spirit, you're not truly alive. So spending time in the word of God, in not with the word, in the word, is more important because the spirit lives and dwells in that word. And if we are in the word, the, the Lord is in us, in that very communion of the Father, Son, and Spirit. And the most beautiful scripture is that if we abide in him and his word abides in us, in, in us, then he will come and dwell, make a room and come. Father and Jesus will come and dwell with us. So our hearts are open today to receive that word so that he comes and dwells inside us and lives in us and teaches us and guides us so that we know to listen to the right voice that speaks to us and gives us that spirit of discernment. I pray that everyone realizes that the word of God alone has the power and just make time reading and meditating on that word and believing and seeing the, the finished works of Christ in that word of God. I believe that is a life changer and it's a total. Whenever we open that word and read, we're just sowing seeds on fertile soil which will reap good harvest. And Everyone who takes the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Thank you, brother. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, brother, for your testimony. Russell, I'll go next. I had no intention of speaking today because I'm really, I really got a bad cough, cold, whatever it is. But um, I don't think I can let this evening pass without without saying thank you, God for the gift of life. Thank you, God, for giving me two beautiful gifts, which are my eyes, which I got to open this morning, and to praise you and thank you and give glory and honor. All of what I say uh, is never enough because you are so, so, so amazing. And you deserve more than this, Jesus. Um, but I just wanted, this is going to be really short because I'm not well, but I, I just wanted to say that um, everything of what Brother Vivek and Sister Christina said, the word of God is alive and active. And for those of you who have not been listening to the morning encounters, this whole week it's been about the word of God and it's been so enriching and it touches every fiber of your being and it makes it real, it makes it come to life in, in, every, in every sense of the word. And today, whilst um, Brother Vivek was saying, surrender everything, I was coughing so badly. And all I did was that I said, Jesus, take this cough. I can't, I'm not even able to focus. And instantly it stopped. And thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your miracle. Um, and it, this is why I say that the word is so powerful, especially in the spirit. And everybody who hasn't experienced this, I pray that the Holy Spirit moves so powerfully to give them that experience that we as in this group enjoy. And I want everyone to experience that. And that is my prayer. And I thank this group that we are able to start the day with the morning encounters the daily reflections, the rosary in the evening. And it's such a great opportunity, especially our rosary in the evening where we get to pray. There are so many souls out there 
who do not have anyone that they can reach out to. And today, you know, as a group, we come together and we pray for those souls. And I'm sure that some of them are greatly touched and it's going to bring, this is, this is just the beginning. This is going to be such a great harvest for this group. And I bless each, every, each and every one in this group and all of you, uh, Brother Russell, Brother Vivek, Sister Shereen, Sister Janela, Brother Savio, stay blessed always. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Brother Russell, I would like to go next. Yes, please go ahead. I just want to reiterate with what the others have said. And thank God for everything he is doing for us. Claude and myself start our day with praying the I confess boldly and we really confess it boldly because we know there is power in the word of God. Yes. And we start our day with, with that power that is in the word of God. And I can feel the Holy Spirit in my spirit and he carries me through the day. I feel so powerful because he is with me. Every day is blessed because I know he is there. I can feel him in my spirit. I can feel him everywhere around us. All the things that we were, we thought were important before now seem insignificant before the word of God. I go to bed at night and I ask the above father to keep night watch on me and my family and my friends and this whole group and every member of this group, every member of every family that belongs to this group. And yeah. I ask the Holy Spirit to wake me up in the morning in time to join in the morning encounter with my praying family and feel so blessed that we can do that. I thank you all that carry on this ministry and in the name of Jesus, I ask Abba Father to continue to bless us all and keep us united and blessed in his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, everybody, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit prayer group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, please go ahead, sister. Sorry, sir. Shadow, brother. How are you? Yes. Good, good. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Well, I just Praise wanted God. to say thank you to Jesus for this week and yeah, reiterating from all our lovely um, sisters before this. Um, the Lord is kind of indicating a great big harvest for everyone on this group, is right? Um, I I also feel that in my spirit, it's very, it's a very sharp message. And um, I just want to say that praying together is not um, something that is ever to be taken lightly because the Lord and his angels and the heavenly hosts are just, they're just waiting in anticipation for us to start praying together. And everything that is meant to be activated in the spirit, all our gifts and talents, they're all activated at once and we are as we go out and serve um when we walk into places um the lord is already there he's telling us it is here you do this and he spreads that joy through our work as it starts and i just want to say that um i'm so joyful um for everything that he's doing for every one of us you know and for the gift of prayer which I have never known before to be so powerful in the past few years. Um, I have actually come out of my comfort zone and stormed heavens, praying and using the scriptures to speak the word. And it has done absolute, you know, it's just, it's just, I cannot even explain how powerful it is. And from the morning encounter today as well, um, Sister Shireen brought us that, very powerful scripture out um, that we have only one God. We do not idolize anybody else. 
we do not idolize um, fear, as you said, and that really touched my heart and it opened up my day in a very powerful way. And when you walk through with that sort of understanding, which is right, when you do not open the scriptures, it's like eating a bag of chips half the way and then you keep it away, but you enjoy the entire bag when you open it up, you really eat up all the chips and that's our favorite food sometimes. So enjoying the word of God, opening up that knowledge and spreading it with others, you know, telling people about it in a, yeah. whatever way we can, it makes a world of difference. Even if you're doing it to one person, maybe that one person is waiting to hear from us about, you know, what the scriptures do for you. How do you live your kind of life in such a peaceful and calm way? Um, how do you get your strength for every day from? Because, um, yeah, there are a lot of people having a lot of things on their mind. They don't, we don't know their battles, but um, yeah, I think just being yourself and drawing from the, um, from the strength that the Lord gives through his joy every day. And you start and open the day with a morning encounter and, you know, start your personal reflection with him. Um, it opens up a lot in your mind and your spirit and makes your day so light makes your life feel like it's on track, even though there are a lot of challenges, spiritual attacks, um, I still would choose the Lord over everything. So I'd like to thank the Lord for everything. He's kept us safe um, during the week for um, my workplace, all my work friends and my children's friends at school and uni. Um, it's a great big blessing to be a part of this um, Holy Spirit prayer group. And yeah, thank you everyone that prays for each other. Um, God bless. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. Praise God. I'd like to thank the Lord as well for the privilege to be part of this prayer meeting, to join with everyone here to praise and worship and to to revere the Lord, to connect with Him once again, to just focus and grow our relationship with Him. I'd like to thank Him for the, the honor to come in His presence. Unless you are called, you cannot come. And when you realize that, he, that we have come here because He has called, and specifically by name, He knows you by name, He says, I have carved you on the palm of my hand and He has called you, come. Come to the waters. When that revelation dawns, then you know the kind of honor that you are being given by the king of the universe who made everything and yet this one tiny little creature in that huge universe, he calls you by name specifically individually and says, come, what an honor. I just want to thank God for that, for the gift of faith as well that he has blessed me with during this last week and this entire last few months through all the challenges that, that I have gone through. Even when I didn't see him, I knew that he's there and he made sure that I realized that he's there. So I just want to thank you, Lord, for your presence with me all along, all of this time. And I thank you that you are with me even for the journey ahead with all the assignments that you place on my heart and the, the journey uh, in the spirit that you lead me through. Thank you, Lord, for opening up your word unto us. And look at all the wonderful testimonies where people speak about your word and how it has transformed their lives. I know how it has transformed my life. I thank you, Lord, for that mercy and the grace that you renew for us every single day. Just to be living within that mercy itself is a privilege. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Brother, I'd like to go next. Yes, please go ahead. I'd like to praise and thank God for this beautiful day, for the many miracles and wonders and blessings that he keeps bestowing on me and my family and this beautiful house of the Brisbane Holy Spirit Prayer Group. I also thank God for molding me and refining me daily through his word, for giving me the gift of the Holy Spirit, for teaching me something new each day some new revelation, some new insight which enriches my life. 
thank you lord jesus for this wonderful group that you have given us where we receive so many revelations to our to our dear brothers and sisters here thank you lord for magnifying your word above everything else for giving us this beautiful gift of the word of god which lights up our way lord which is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path thank you lord that you have always been with us and you will always be with us till the end of time thank you jesus in this week i had uh, my nephew and my son both who were unwell and i used the word of god and i rebuked every infirmity from them <clears throat> sorry and by god's grace both of them today are fine and completely cured and back to their normal activities i praise and thank god for this powerful gift of the word of god for the spiritual authority that he has given us this revelation which we were so blinded to you know we did not know so many good things so many beautiful things that the lord has kept in store for us you know we <clears throat> i'm sorry the lord has laid a banquet for us and we always would ask him for something so small and you know just to nibble around but he has given us this complete buffet this entire banquet and this revelation through the word of god has made our lives so much more beautiful and has made this living very supernatural also i like to thank god for all the people whom he brings to me during my day to day discussions you know the acquaintances i meet how i have been able to touch somebody's life in whichever way possible thank you lord that you are helping me in my ministry you are helping me open open people's hearts so that they receive your word in a very special way and use your word in their day to day life lord and in this week there was an instance i actually as a person i'm very very mindful after i've been blessed you know with the gift of the holy spirit i've been rooted into the word i am very mindful of what i speak and this day uh, during a party i just happened to say a casual statement you know which was not right and immediately my husband sprung up and he said this what you said is not right and he just smiled you know he, in a very gentle way he corrected me and i was so surprised because i am the one who 99% of the times is correcting my husband but this 1% he it really touched my heart because i realized that whatever i was sowing into him you know has bought that harvest and now he is correcting me and immediately i said oh, jesus i am sorry i rebuke whatever i said these words have no impact over my life or the lives of all those around me i mean i was so touched because my husband usually has always been on the receiving end but this time he he very gently corrected me and he said what you said is wrong so that's that's such a beautiful thing because i know that whatever i have been trying to sow into his life or into the into the lives of those around me has is taking root it may not be seen initially but it is taking root in their hearts and i praise and thank god because it's only through him that i could do this and only through him that i you know we all can touch so many lives so much of harvest is ahead of us and it's only like vivek always says it's only when we humble ourselves will we receive more and more grace so i really thank and praise god for this beautiful journey that he has given us for making heaven on earth for us for giving us all the authority that we require to tide over every evil circumstance in our life praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus <clears throat> yes well so would like to share that testimony anyone that has been blessed with last friday's teaching about changing your mindset and the way you think and then applying that in your prayer from what you understood last week you prayed and you've experienced a miracle or a testimony would you like to share with us so this is jane kebra yes go ahead sister and thank the lord for the week going by brother i really uh, thank the lord for uh, for the brother vivek for taking to the teaching again brother because i really missed it when he was in the past time as a kid at seven life so i really thank the lord for uh, we can't hear you sister the sound is breaking
Are you there, Sister Jane? Yeah, brother, can you hear me? Yes, it's clear now. Oh, okay. Uh, last week's teaching really, uh, Ezekiel 37 really reminded me of my testimony, brother, which I which I uh, went through uh, in the in the final. My Oh, we lost you again. Testimony. Uh, I was I was in a, in a city that because it was no, no other words to think. Big. I was forced to depend on the Lord. I was a rock in the world. And after I came out from that, I could see all the words, all scriptures that have been, I was meditating became live in that. So, and, and that ta taught me uh, to that, my Lord taught me how the word was flesh, how the word applied, how to apply the word. And so I really thank the Lord for the last teaching. And from last Friday, brother, after the session, um, I started writing, I sat down to write the notes. But uh, I hardly had I finished 10 minutes, um, I had an itching in my eye and uh, I couldn't continue further. The next day, I had a big cyst in my eye. Uh, two days, I applied ointment, but it didn't really got worse. It didn't, uh, no improvement. So Monday, I found up a, a message by the Vivek, and he immediately he called me, and he prayed with me. And the next day, the sister shrinked. And really, I, I thanked, thanked the Lord for Brother Vivek, and I was uh, praying for him, and uh, for bringing me into this group. Uh, and uh, the Lord said, uh, it was, I, I, I can say, brother, uh, though we, you are far away, but I feel like when I speak to brother or to you, uh, I feel very close. Some, someone very, very close than a relation, more than a relation. And I really thank the Lord for that. And, and the Holy Spirit said, it has been ordained for you to be in this group even before you were born. Amen. I really, I really thank the Lord for Brother Vivek, for Russell, for Russell Brother, and for, the, for bringing me to this, this group. Right. Really thank the Lord. Praise for God. For, for this journey. Today, every day, every mass, I really pray, thank the Lord for bringing me to this group, for all the members in the group, for Brother Vivek. I really pray they, every day, every mass, I pray for them, for all of you. Nothing more can I uh, do for you, for brother, for, for everything, for the spiritual journey we are, we are going through, and for, for the insight we are getting, the revelations we are getting from this group. We have nothing more to then pray for all of you. Praise well, God. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. Thank you for sharing. Brother, can I go next? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I would like to thank our Father God for all that he has done and doing in our lives, for the food, clothing, shelter, and our jobs. Thank you, Lord, for my life and that I am alive today. Thank you, Lord. I also thank the Lord for the people in my life, especially this prayer group, my family, friends. Thank you, Lord. My health was a bit run down for the last two years and was more severely this winter. I would get the flu very often and it would take me around two weeks to recover. It took a toll on my overall health. The doctor mentioned that if my blood count did not show improvement, I would be needed to see a specialist. And she also asked me to do further blood tests to check if there were any abnormalities. This played on my mind for the last few months. Come winter and I was very, very sick. I had to go on leave without pay as I had run out of my sick leave. I was very scared too of going to the doctor. I thank God for Brother Vivek who told me that the doctors are our destiny helpers and to go ahead and do the test. With this in mind and praying and claiming the scriptures, bring the rosary and divine mercy chaplet, and also with the support of all those who prayed with me and for me, I did the test. I was so scared to even receive the doctor's call, so much so that I asked the clinic to call my husband. I kept claiming the scriptures from the I confess boldly, Isaiah 53, 5, 1 Corinthians 12, 27, Luke 4, 18. 
And when I was scared and fearful, I claimed Joshua 1, 9. It reminded me that I am not alone. My Jesus is with me. However, I don't know what happened, but the doctor called me up. She told me that my count had gone up and all other tests too were normal. The first thought that came to my mind, it's, it is a miracle. All praise and thanks to our Father God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I also thank Mother Mary and all the angels and saints for interceding for us. I also want to mention here that the normal count should be two and above, and mine was below two for quite a while. When Brother Vivek prayed with me, he told me to write on a paper that my count is four, and on a piece of paper, I stuck it on my fridge, and I would pray that prayer very often. All praise and glory to God, my count was three. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us and, for, and whatever I've learned and got from this prayer group. I also want to thank the Lord for all those who prayed for my mother-in-law and for us, especially in the last few weeks. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing her with peace and a place at your table, Father in heaven. Let her sins be forgiven and let your grace cover her entire family and all those that she has left behind. That they be restored to you in their relationship. That entire family be blessed in the name of Jesus and brought through his blood into your house, Father. We make this our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to share their testimony? We can probably take one last one and then we'll get started with our teaching for this evening. Uh, brother, can I go next? Yes, go ahead, sister. Um, I'd like to thank God for everything he has done for me and my family, my daughters, for all his blessings and indeed for waking each of us up alive every day. I think this is an understatement when we thank God. We cannot thank him enough for giving us this gift of life because we don't know our tomorrows. Um, yeah. I'd like to thank God for all the teachings I received from this group. And indeed, it's, um, it's been an incredible spiritual journey. Um, it's brought me closer to God. I actually know some of the scriptures off by heart. And, um, you know, in reinstating what everyone has just said, it it enables you to help others. And there are times when I'm counseling or guiding others and um, I feel sometimes God is using me as an instrument or as their destiny helpers. And uh, the scriptures are there at the tip of my tongue. Uh, it's helped me to, uh, in my own life, my personal journeys, my daughters, God has indeed saved my daughter. Um, and I think everyone... Uh, who knew of that incident had told her the hand of God saved you. There was, I, I, don't, I, I am unable to count how many people must have told her that. And I'm grateful, grateful to God each and every day that he did. Um, I think I also experienced some spiritual attack this week. Um, I was severely ill, totally burnt out. Um, I couldn't lift myself out of bed um, nor go to work completely um, I was drained the, the, the fear gripped me um, I was down I was edgy I was biting everyone's heads off and I knew something was off but I couldn't even bring myself to pray and I asked somehow gathered every ounce of strength and courage within me and I reached out to God and asked him to help me. And um, he did. He did. He did save me. And uh, it's, I just felt something inside me shook the core in me. Like when I would lay down in bed, my entire body was in tremors, literally. And it took, it would take me over an hour to settle down and to breathe, to sleep. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful to God that he has saved me and he's there with me. He's definitely there with us in the 
deepest, darkest valleys, wherever we are. Um, and I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, you know, it's easy to have fear, but it takes great courage to have faith. And uh, last week's teaching uh, helped me with that. I spoke life into my own dead body. And I had the energy to get up and go to work and do things and um, <clears throat> help others too. I've actually lost my voice. Um, I cannot speak much. I mean, when I pray, it's like my throat is always hurting. And it's like I, do, I cannot speak anymore. <clears throat> but I refuse, I refuse to give up. And I know that... Um, God is with me and I just like to thank God and put it out there that he knows that I am like all of you his warrior uh, we are a group of warriors we are um, we are blessed I have no words to thank God and this is my humble testimony and I will continue to do God's work as long as I'm alive so I thank Jesus, I thank the Holy Spirit, and I thank the Heavenly Father for his countless mercies and blessings and his unending grace and anointing upon our lives and all of us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we anoint that tongue in your name, in the name of Jesus. Let the tongue be loosed from all infirmity, from all weakness, from all that holds it back from speaking your name and your word. Through this tongue, Lord, let many more be blessed. So that when she speaks, let it be as if you spoke your word. And your word redeems, your word sanctifies, your word edifies, your word blesses. Every time she opens that mouth to speak through your word, Lord. Let this voice be loose today itself right now. Let every Amen. word that she speaks now, Lord Father, let it be to your glory. And let everyone that she speaks to see your face. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Can I go next? Brother? Yes, yes, please go ahead, brother. Yes, brother. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life and for keeping me alive, Lord, and for bringing me to this prayer meeting today and for making it possible. Thank you, Lord, for being part of this prayer group this entire week that has gone by. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy over my life. Thank you for covering us, Lord, in your precious blood and for giving us your precious blood that we can cover our families and this entire Brisbane prayer group and each of their family members. Thank you, Lord, for your word and for your revelations that you share with us each day. Thank you, Lord, for working for our good in every situation in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the successful surgeries that have happened this week and for answered prayers and the recovery of those who have undergone these surgeries. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings, your favor, and your miracles and your healing in these surgeries that have happened. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness that chases every member of our Brisbane prayer group. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us spiritual authority, Lord, and for helping us to destroy every plan of the enemy against us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing destiny helpers, Lord, into our lives to guide us and make the right decisions. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain that you have melted down like, max, that, like wax at your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, before we get started into our session for today, I'll just uh, have a quick uh, few announcements to make. So once again, a warm welcome to all those that have just joined us during this last session of testimonies. Um, I'll share a link for you to join the Brisbane Prayer Group on our Telegram group. So you can then pray with others. You can receive links to all the recordings of the different sessions that are uh, run during the day. And you can also share your prayer requests with others and pray with others on their prayer requests. 
in case you, if you are and if you are enjoying the different sessions you are being enriched in your spiritual journey in your word study please subscribe to our youtube channel as well so that you get um, notifications turn on the notifications you'll get notified every time there's a new video being posted there also quick update about our sessions we run the morning encounters with the lord every morning at 7 a.m australian eastern standard time so that's uh, 365 days a year monday uh, monday to sunday including christmas day easter and new year as well we also have uh, the savior's powerful reflections that are shared every day and these are very deep coming straight from the spirit i know a lot of families pray with them as well so i encourage you if you are being blessed by those reflections when you read them there's something stirred in your spirit please do not hold it with you pass it forward to the person that you know needs to read that this day so that you might uplift their spirit as well when you share that we also have the daily rosary and divine mercy chaplet that's run monday to thursday every evening at 7 pm australian eastern standard time and then on fridays it's run in the afternoon at 3 pm because we have this bible study session in the evening so the bible study session is run from 5:30 pm onwards starting with praise and worship followed by confession of scriptures followed by the testimony time and then the bible teaching of the evening all of these sessions are run live on zoom and on youtube and the recordings are then also made available on our youtube page on our spotify podcast you can look us up by searching holy spirit brisbane prayer group and they're also posted onto our facebook page so whichever channel works for you you can follow them accordingly live or recordings any which way the presence of the holy spirit is same even in the recording so don't feel that you're missing out if you can't attend live he's still there and will always be there whether you hear the recording now or whether you hear it 5 years later i've also shared the the link to the i confess boldly scriptures earlier you can download that and keep a copy for yourself so you can use it in your daily prayer i'll just share the link once again in case you missed it so that's a link to download the the i confess boldly i share it on our youtube page as well Yeah, so hopefully that's blessing you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.